Pro Wrestling Bits. Subscribe now. Oh, hi there, boys and girls. Hi there, predominantly male audience. Welcome to AEW's White Christmas, a holiday spectacular. I'm Alfred Kunawa, and why, that's my dog, Baxter. Say hi, boy. Ah, now he's just showing off. We've got a whole bunch of great clips to show you, in addition to a very special appearance from AEW President Tony Khan himself. Of course, AEW found new and exciting ways to celebrate white excellence in 2021, and with the Undisputed Era versus the Elite all but a formality, it's officially avalanche season in Jacksonville. Winter was coming, and then it came, and now it's back to come again and again and again with just winter all over your face. Speaking of winter, our first clip is a racial weather report from the most handsome meteorologist in all of pro wrestling. Check it out. <laughs> for four consecutive weeks, for the first time ever. So despite inclement weather, AEW is white, her shade of white, so that he can get as many opportunities as possible. I see what you did there, Darby. Then of course, you've got your OG whites. These are your legends like Sting and even Christian, who isn't lying. You know what though? You know what? AEW is really good. I'm not even gonna front from characters to storyline development to in-ring, AEW is really good right now. It's such good white shit. In fact, we're going to go now to ground zero of our sub-zero snowstorm and temperatures out in Jacksonville, live from Daily's Place, racial correspondent Alfred Kunawa. Thank you, Alfred. I am just outside of Daily's Place here in Jacksonville as AEW executives are working feverishly and trying to come up with ways as to how they can make this company even whiter. And amid some recent controversy with sponsors, I'm being told that AEW is on the verge of landing a major partnership with L.L. Bean. More on that story as it develops. AEW's top structure is really built like a mountaintop, where it's very dark at the bottom of the mountain, but the further up the mountain you go to the pinnacle, if you will, why, at that point, it's whiter than any of Megyn Kelly's group chats. Now, some of the executives have heard some of the whispers about the lack of black excellence at or anywhere near the top of AEW. And in a way to better connect with the culture, I'm being told that Tony Khan, AEW's president, is in talks to buy the entire hip-hop library of Vanilla Ice. They're trying, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just give it time, I guess. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Wow. Certainly isn't cookout weather in Jacksonville right now. Just ask Jay Lethal. More on that next time. Anyway, sad news about my dog Baxter. He'll no longer be with us for the rest of the show. As you know, Baxter is a white dog, so Tony Khan signed him. Congrats, Baxter. Sure you'll be a top dog in AEW in no time. But, but that just gives us the opportunity to make new friends. Say hello to my new dog, Braxton. Say hi, buddy. Come on. Braxton is taking a little nap right now. Let's just roll the next clip and he'll be back better than ever. Come on. This is All Elite Jeopardy! Our returning champion is the African-American sweetheart himself, Alfred Kunawa. And now for your host, LeVar Burton! Welcome to All Elite Jeopardy! I'm your host, LeVar Burton, because f*** Mike Richards. Our returning champion has control of the board. Start us off, Alfred. Let's start us off with All Elite White People for 400. Answer. Top stars Chris Jericho, John Moxley, and Kenny Omega have held this championship for a combined 674 days. What is the AEW World Championship? Correct. Same category for 800, please. Hangman Adam Page, MJF, Jungle Boy, Orange Cassidy, and Darby Allen project to be AEW's next five world champions. With the average AEW world title reign lasting 237 days, this phenomenon is expected to continue in AEW for the next three years and counting. What is white excellence? Correct. Uh, let's go with black wrestlers in AEW for 400. Answer. This AEW star was one half of the first AEW Tag Team Champions, which is more than enough inclusion for some, so maybe you people should stop complaining so much and work a little harder. Who is Scorpio Sky? Correct. Black wrestlers for 800? Answer. This black AEW star lost to Miro in a TNT title match on the August 4th broadcast of AEW Dynamite. Alfred? Who is Lee Johnson? Yes. Same category, 1200? Answer. This black AEW star lost to Britt Baker in a women's AEW title match on the August 13th broadcast of AEW Rampage. 
Who is Red Velvet? Correct. Black wrestlers in AEW for 1,600. AEW currently has 16 black wrestlers on its active roster. In 2021, 79% of their matches happen on this niche YouTube franchise. Alfred, what is AEW Dark? Correct. Let's finish off that category for 2,000. Answer. This popular AEW star and dangerous rapper was put on ice by panicked president Tony Khan due to some edgy hip-hop lyrics. Like, what's the threat? Seriously, Nick Gage was on that same show two weeks prior, legitimately slicing a 50-year-old man's face open, yet when a rapper says an edgy lyric, they acted like there was more to lose in that situation due to some garden variety twi- Who is Max Caster? Correct. Please wait for me to finish the clue next time. The board is yours. Sorry. Let's go with Pro Wrestling Davids for 400. Answer. This 61-year-old journalist is not on the AEW payroll, but he does specialize in crafting pro AEW narratives, all while gleefully ignoring the glaring diversity issues at the top of this company. Who is David Duke? No, we were looking for Dave Meltzer. Oh, that's going to cost you, but you are still in the lead, so please make your next selection. All elite white people for 1200 Answer. How much would you like to wager? 5000 Big money. Las Vegas listed the odds of wrestlers most likely to face CM Punk, which is considered a massive opportunity in AEW. All nine wrestlers listed are this ethnicity. You have five seconds. What is Caucasian? That is absolutely white. Daniel Bryan, Darby Allen, Christian Cage, Orange Cassidy, Cody Rhodes, Chris Jericho, Matt Hardy, Jungle Boy, and Sting, who is listed at plus 1,000, because even Vegas knows who gets the opportunities in this company. I just don't think it's normal for a dog to take a three-hour nap. Plus, it smells in here. I mean, is he... Is, is he hibernating? Do dogs hibernate? Welcome back. Wow, what a great clip. Uh, Braxton over here got so fired up watching it, he got tired and fell asleep all over again. Poor guy. He's gonna miss our next clip. The Spectrum of Whiteness. Send it! The timeless Chris Jericho. The death-defying Darby Allen. The charismatic cowboy hangman Adam Page. The pedigreed cornerstone Cody Rhodes. The upstart heartthrob Jungle Boy. The wrestling hipster icon Orange Cassidy. The GOAT Tag Team Champions in the Young Bucks. The GOAT AEW Champion, Kenny Omega. Hell, Adam Cole's girlfriend, Britt Baker, might be a bigger star than all of them, and she too goes to the white school. I mean, she's basically their prom queen. This really doesn't sound like that tough a decision for Adam Cole. At least on paper. Paper which is the same color as every top star in AEW. From Daily's Place in Jacksonville, it's America's Game. Wheel of Wrestling. Today's clue is professional wrestling. Start us off, Alfred. I'd like to buy a vowel. You absolutely can. A. There are three A's. That's $5,000 and a super prize. Let's check it out. Congratulations, you've won a year supply of potato salad courtesy of AEW Catering. AEW's special main event potato salad is chock full of golden raisins and has no seasoning whatsoever. You want seasoning in your AEW potato salad? Give it time and wait your turn. Seasoning is not the priority in AEW right now. This 2005 ROH recipe was prepared by Paula Dean. Back to you, Pat. Congratulations again on a wonderful prize. Let's give it another spin. Actually, I think I'm ready to solve this puzzle. Really? White Excellence Wednesdays on AEW Dino White. That is correct. Wow, that's impressive. How did you do it so quickly? Are there any friends or family you'd like to shout out before we go off the air? Actually, Vanna White hasn't moved or blinked in like an hour. Is she all right? No, 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 no. She's dead. Welcome back. Uh, Braxton is out taking a smoking break right now. He's totally alive, but I do keep telling him those cigarettes will kill you. Also, with Kyle O'Reilly now all elite, I feel like the spectrum of whiteness needs some update. Uh, let's add Kyle O'Reilly to the spectrum of whiteness. Put him right about there. Fantastic. <laughs> well, the time has come for our very special guest. Please welcome, joining us via Twitter, AEW President Tony Khan. How's it going, Anthony? <laughs> yes, of course. Congratulations on being named the most beloved billionaire, which isn't that like ranking your favorite sweatshops? 
I, I, seriously, I wanted to get into a diversity in wrestling. Okay, and he's still going. Boy, you type fast. Uh, can we just start from the top? Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, black wrestlers in AEW, you know, and how your philosophy... Okay, uh, I get those from the streets. I'm very clear about that. I'm very transparent, but that's all I'm going to say, okay? This isn't about me. This is about you, Tony. Uh, I need you to, to tell me. Walk me through. The... All right, here we go. And um, he's just going and going. I don't think there's any getting him back. I think... Okay, no need for me. I don't know about that. <clears throat> okay, let's start from the top. Here. I really... Jesus. What does he keep bringing up Fox News for? I, I, I have nothing to do with Fox News. I can get with that. I don't disagree with that, but I don't feel like that has anything to do with what we are here to talk about. Next year, we got to get him in the building. Okay, let's, let's have him in for Kwanzaa so that maybe he'll be more respectful of the tradition of interviewing an AEW president. This is ridiculous. I, okay, yes. AEW's 1849, very good. I understand. Okay, bring up Jay Lethal. Let's talk about it. Why is Jay Lethal? All right, okay, roll the next clip. I know where this is going. Roll the next clip! Welcome to Tony Two Scoops. What flavor of ice cream would you like today? Can I have a CM Punk ice cream bar? Nope, we're all out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. Chocolate or Rocky Road? No, we haven't figured out a way to make chocolate ice cream connect with our audience yet, but we do have another route that serves chocolate when it gets dark out and there's not as many customers around. Plus, there'll be plenty of chocolate ice cream this weekend at the Jacksonville Jaguars game. Okay, then I guess I'll have Daniel Bryan's vegan vanilla ice cream? Excellent choice. You can never have too much vanilla ice cream. That'll be $2 million. I'd like to thank AEW President Tony Khan for appearing as a guest, and just so we're clear, Tony's last tweet read, quote, you're nothing but a goddamn nightmare to me and my brand. Shame on YouTube for monetizing this channel. Sad, end quote. Which, uh, this is not the best thing to be said about me and my YouTube channel, but <laughs> then again, not the worst. Well, that's our holiday spectacular, boys and girls. I'd like to thank each and every single one of you for helping to make this channel what it is. AEW will have a black world champion and a plethora of black stars, hopefully in my lifetime. Till then, here's to a lifetime of black excellence.